Okay. Same story, but apparently it didn't hold. As we've seen. So, gonna again wrap this around. Not perfectly in the middle. So, I need to move this a little bit. Okay. Did I have. Yeah, all the air is out. This time I'm gonna do it differently because, or differently, I'm gonna make some changes. Because I noticed where it uh, snapped, it was apparently uh, at one of these uh, clamps. So I actually need more clamps to distribute the tension uh, for each clamp a little bit better, but I don't have any more. So I'm gonna try and distribute the clamping force a little bit better with some pieces of plastic. I spray glued these pieces of plastic to get some more grip. Hopefully this works. And let's, you can hear it kind of sticking a little bit. I'll put it like this. Not sure if this works. I mean, uh, this is my first try as well. So, you can, um, well, you, uh, I got a world premiere. Start at the corner again. I'm sorry about the light. There isn't much light here and uh, it's kind of uh, cloudy outside. It's kind of, uh, it was nice, but now it's more like weather for a uh, Sunday. But it's actually Saturday, thank God, because I uh, don't like Sundays. I think I mentioned that before. Okay, so just clamp on here. Not sure if this is gonna work. Could be a complete disaster, but the theory is you will uh, divide the tension on the foil a little bit better. Redo, oh, it's gonna work because this isn't exactly uh, pretty, uh, the nicest thing to do or most fun thing to do. Uh, I've seen other clamping or other tension jigs, especially from Magnapen, it's kind of, not sure exactly how it works, but I think it works with, uh, I, may, I might make a drawing of it, by the way. because it's kind of hard to explain. But it's actually, when you see it, quite simple. At least I think. I mean, it, it's, it, it is still a guessing game, of course, because uh, I have to do it with the pictures that I got from... Um, hmm, gonna... How many clamps do I want to have on this side? I think two. And uh, here as well, so. Yeah. Okay. Space these out a little bit better. Hmm. Don't actually have enough clamps to space it out properly. Well, this has to do, I think. I'm curious if this works. It would be so fucking nice. Sorry about my language. Not really, but. Uh, yeah, which, which direction I wanna make this direction for change? Change the focus, lock the light. Put the microphone, microphone on top of it. Add some tape on the corners. Oh, first I'm gonna put some air in it, by the way, because it's still. Uh, wrinkly so I'll put some air in it put some tape on the corners
getting faster at this. Not sure if I want to, but. Okay, so all said and done. Uh, one thing I wanted to explain still, because I didn't mention it, how this, this setup works is the woofer is gonna play a tone or um, a sweep from uh, 30 hertz to uh, whatever, 500 for instance. And when it reaches the resonance of this piece of mylar here, that stretch between these white pieces, which is actually the exact same dimension as a panel, and this is crucial, um, when it hits the resonance, uh, you will hit the self-resonance of the foil and the foil will uh, will move in motion or even amplifies this frequency. And this amplification we can see in the measurement. Also funny is, under this self-resonance of this foil, it cuts off the low end. So you can actually see on the measurement quite clearly where the resonance of this piece of foil is. Uh, and the <clears throat> the dimension of this hole in this jig, the reason why it's important, it has the same surface area or the same dimensions as uh, the panel we're going to use, is because if you make this, for instance, if you're going to glue on a bigger panel on this jig, the resonance will be lower in the end. So you measure a resonance on this thing, then you're going to glue it on the panel, then you're going to remeasure it without this jig, then the resonance will be lower. And it's, well, uh, the, bigger it, the bigger it is, the lower the resonance. That's quite common. I mean, if you look at drums, big drums has lower resonance usually than small drums. So <clears throat> this is the reason why I have to make uh, a jig for a parent panel. So if I want to make big panels, I, need, I have to remake a jig or make a huge jig with uh, separate inserts, cutouts of panels I would want to build. Okay, let's go to the laptop and um, do this stuff all over again. Hopefully it doesn't fail this time. Hi, how are you? I'm just starting to zoom right away. Not so much. So like, yes, I'm sorry, fine. Zoom out there. And focus. Okay. So, all goes faster and faster, as you can see. Uh, first measurement. Let's see. So that's rather low, 53. Let's put in some air. Hopefully it doesn't fill this time. It goes straight to 75. Not even near the frequency we want to reach. Not liking this cluck cluck sound. I'm not sure. One of the clamps is not doing its job. Eighty seven, still way too low. Even more air. If this doesn't work, I have to figure something out. Ninety-eight, almost at one hundred. That's good. There's still um, enough room to fill. The pump is uh, always also struggling to get uh, even more tension on it. Well, that didn't didn't do much. 
need more air. It's also leaking. Not the tube, but air to the tube. Might need to change one of these uh, hoses. Getting there. This is the highest we got so far in all these uh, failed attempts. It's 112. Now the question is, do I want to pursue, try to get 140? Well, let's give it a go. I mean, I got new mylar, so I can try it 40 times. Okay. Uh, 120, almost, almost there. That didn't, didn't do much. Only one hertz. <laughs> so either something is giving or the miler is overly stretched, which is which I don't believe because I reached 160 once, so shouldn't be a problem. Getting more air in is uh, getting a problem for this little pump. Oh, I hear sounds. Where did it burst? Let's see. No fucking way. <laughs> I think I... Uh, <laughs> I fixed one thing, and now the other thing uh, fails. Let's see where it bursted. I think. Let the air out. Yeah. Must redo it. I think it started off here. Yeah. It started off right here, so let's see what's on the other side. I bet it's a clam. Yeah, so... Let's actually... Yeah, it was sitting like this. So it started off here, and then... And then this rip. When I look at it, these are quite stupidly spaced as well. It's not the best uh, job I did. But, okay. These ones with the pieces of plastic on it, ow, did hold up. So, I'm gonna add one here, add one on the other side. And that might be it. Not sure why I only did one side, apparently because I always had problems on these sides. And I should have done these as well at the same time, but... Hell! I really like to do this, it's my hobby, you know? I'm gonna redo it for the gazillion time. Be back! <laughs> 